Hey guys, what's up? My name is Superstar369, and welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, hi there. I enjoy seeing new people click on my videos and seeing them in the comments whenever I get the chance. But anyways, I have many brand new additions to my CD and cassette collection, just like I promised. This is a huge update since part one. If you haven't seen part one yet, I'm gonna leave a pop-up right over here. So if you want to go check it out, or if you want to catch up. But if you already did, good for you. <laughs> so let's dive right in. All right, so to start off, right here we got the Ariana Grande Sweet Mare Cassette. And this one actually came in the day after I uploaded the first video. Uh, and I found it frustrating because I had just uploaded it. It took 12 hours to upload it. And it had to arrive the day I uploaded that video. But yeah. And also, oh, I stand this album so much. I don't understand why people don't give it enough credit for its, like, composure, the vocals, and also the memorabilia of the songs. And I'm just like, uh, it deserves better. So, yeah. <laughs> and up next, we got the Charlie's Angels original motion picture soundtrack cassette. Eh, this one was just one that was on sale on the Urban Outfitters website and didn't find it a big deal. But I did like some of the songs. And obviously, I like the cassette format at this point because eh, it just feel, makes it feel retro. And I just like the vibe. So, yeah. Up next... This one is actually an update to one of the ones I've already shown before. This is the update for the Lover CD. Because I didn't expect to actually buy another copy. But on cassette form. This was just recently um, released at Urban Outfitters. I saw it in the store and I had to immediately get it. Because obviously uh, this album grew on. This album grew on me so much that I just, uh, I had to get it. Not because it's a collectible, but the same. It's because I just really wanted it so badly. And also, I think I'm a Swifty at this point. <laughs> just like I said in the last video, I might be a Swifty. I'm definitely a Swifty at this point. But I love, I like it. Up next is another update to one of the CDs I've already had, which is the Taylor Swift Folklore CD. And in the last video, I did state that I loved the album so much that I would get the cassette. And yet, it actually happened. And I'm happy how, with how it, like, I'm happy with how it turned out. Just like I ordered it a week after I uploaded the first video. And just said, oh, you know what? I am going to get it. And I definitely don't regret it. I love this baby blue color so much. It's just like, oh, this album is everything. <laughs> it may sound tired or bored, but at the same time, it's like, I got a lot more to show you. So I have to be quickly about it. But at the same time, yeah, I still love this album. I would definitely 100% recommend up next, we got the Selena Gomez Rare, the red cassette. This one, yeah, actually, okay, yeah, I'll just tell you. This one brings, like, good vibes, and it's, like, it's a good album, but there are some songs that are just, like, uh, it's just too chill. I really like um, dance albums that make my head bob a lot. And just like makes me want to sing it out because I love singing the words to hopefully almost all the songs if I it's if it's memorable to me. But also this one, uh, it kind of like makes me a little okay. It's not the album's fault. It's actually the price that I had to pay for it because a week after I actually got this, it was already on sale, <sighs> and I just had to get it the week after that sale happened but i don't regret it this one is just like for a personal this is for my personal use because i actually like this album and yeah 
and also because it's Selena Gomez. All right, so next up, I actually have an update for the Shawn Mendes Wonder and actually decided to get the cassette as well. And let me tell y'all, the cassette, oh, the quality is so freaking good. It does, it feels like it's not even different. It's just like, I just love this album so much. Like, look, when I get cassettes, I would only get it with the CD if I love the albums, if I love the album a lot and I'm able to like remember the songs word by word. And this happens to be the case for it. And I just, I don't know, I just love, I just started to love collecting cassettes. And it's something that I would continue doing. But at this point, I do need to chill out. Because, oh, there's a lot more coming. And yeah, oh, and I forgot to show you. I just got another Taylor Swift Folklore CD because I told you I love this album so much. I want a Perfect Condition one for my collection. Oh, and also, I got the Taylor Swift Evermore CD. This is the unsealed one, and this is my personal copy. This album is just my favorite because it's just... Okay, no, no, sorry. It's not just my favorite, but The Sister, Link Between Folklore, and Evermore is like, oh gosh, how did she, how does she not stop writing? And she made two masterpieces in under four or three months. It's just crazy to me to even like be able to be able to do that is just a master's it's like a master thing to do and yeah i just adore her i at this point adore her so much that i would just buy a lot of her merchandise <laughs> oh and also i bought the evermore cassette as well that one's coming tomorrow, so I'm not going to be able to show it to you right now. But here is a clip of the update of me having the cassette in my hands already. Oh my gosh, y'all. Okay, scratch everything about I said for the Evermore cassette. It just came in right now. I'm actually so excited. Okay, hold up. Let me just open the box. <sighs> And here we go, guys. Let's do it together. You ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, came with stars. Yay, just like my name. <laughs> but oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> Sorry, I sound like a pterodactyl. <laughs> wow. And just like I said, it's like a dark gray, like I told y'all. I already knew. I saw some pictures before I even got it. Oh, my God. Okay. I actually want to do... Wow, okay. This is turning into an unboxing, okay? <laughs> I'll unbox it in front of you guys just because I'm going to use it and it's going to go to my collection. I'm just so freaking happy it came right now. All right. Ready? Three, two, one. Let me do it lightly. Ah. Where is it? There you are. Yee. This is just at the last minute. It just came after I finished filming the video. But here we are. I'm just so happy it came right now. Ah, why is this so hard to take out? Okay. There we go. Take it off one side. Like that. And then the other side like this very easy oh my god i'm legit in love with this taylor swift evermore republic yay oh my god now time to open it Eesh. look at that this is the first time i'm holding a cassette guys oh my god I am so freaking excited to play this on my player. I'm still editing the video if you're all if you're all wondering. It should be up 
by tonight or tomorrow morning, but we'll see. Let me just put this here. Oh my god, guys, the booklet is so cute. Just like all of them, but this one is special because it's Evermore. It just has Taylor multiple times. Just like the front cover, second pick, third pick. Then the back side shows her. Then the other two pictures. And yeah, I just love it so much. So yeah, that was the update. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And let's keep rolling with the video. <laughs> I know, it's awesome, right? I like that dark black or gray color. And oh god, the quality is so good. Like, look, I know I'm saying this after- I'm saying this before I even have the cassette, but I already know if the Taylor Swift lover and folklore sounded that good on my cassette player, who's to say that it won't be the same for the Evermore? So yeah, enough about that adore her so let's move on up next i got the justin bieber ariana grande stuck with you it's not signed though i wish it was like officially signed on the inside because oh, i remember the scandal when everybody realized that all the signatures on both of them if you got a signed signature they were just like um i don't know what they're called they're like computer autographed or something like that. And they just made a whole bunch of copies of them. There were very limited authentic signed signatures of both artists on the inside. And that's how they knew it was authentic because it was different from the rest that looked the same. But yeah, this song is just still in my head and it wasn't that much. It was like five bucks. And I'm just like, yeah, I'll get it. I like this song a lot. <laughs> And yeah, I think, oh no, no, I still got this one. And on an update on Sam Smith, thank you for the commenter who said that their initials is they and them. I'll definitely know that from now on and have. I decided to buy the cassette as well because I like the album so much. And like I said before, I would only buy the albums twice if I adore it so much. And I don't care what y'all say. <laughs> Dancing with the Stranger is my favorite one off the entire thing. But there were some that I could definitely relate to. But I don't really know which ones yet. But Dancing with the Strangers is always going to be a bop to me. <sighs> So yes, just a mini update on that one. And let's continue on with the cassettes. And I'm going to show you a new category that I've recently just gotten into. The vintage section. So let's, but that's, at the, that's like uh, around the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. All right. So the next one that I have is the Post Malone Hollywood's Bleeding limited cassette this one was actually okay yeah this one was actually one that i actually exchanged at urban outfitters because <sighs> unfortunately one of the cassettes was scratched and didn't work properly i saw this one at the store and decided you know what it's around the same price as the britney spears oops i did it again and decided to exchange it for the Hollywood's Bleeding, and which I thought was a good trade. <sighs> but uh, I'm, I'm still kind of sad that I didn't get to keep Britney Spears because I want something that works and that looks nice at the same time, and it was on a cassette form. But unfortunately, I had to return it as well. But I do like this album, and it's definitely not like a super rap album it's more like a pop infused mix of something else that i don't really know what it is but it's definitely more pop than what he would usually do but let me know what he would usually like actually do i'm not that much to post malone but i do like that album <sighs> 
Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. I guess I can show you these updates, but it doesn't really matter. Like, I already showed these two in the first video, but I decided to get another two copies because these are my favorite albums out of a lot of them. But I like all of them equally because I listen to them. Oh gosh, what am I saying? This is so stupid. <laughs> Ugh, I gotta calm down. <sighs> yes, sir. Okay, but yeah, I decided to get two copies of them because I love the album, period. Check out that first video if you want more information on it. <laughs> but yeah. Alright, let's keep going. So right next is I got the Super M Super One Orange Limited Cassette debut album. And actually I did I did like this a lot. It has like that strong it has like that strong tone of like being powerful and all that stuff. And it just there's one song that got me in my feels that I actually cried out, which was Better Days. That song made me feel so upset. But not like the bad kind of upset, like the good upset. When you're just like, oh, you want to cry? But at the same, you feel good. <laughs> I don't know. It's like a hard thing to explain. But yeah, I love the album. Definitely recommend it. Up next, we got the Bishop Briggs Champion White Cassette. This one was actually um the Urban Outfitters website. It was it was gonna be like what was it called? It wasn't gonna be on the website anymore, and so I had to get it quickly. It was four ninety nine, which I thought was good. My favorite song is Jerkle and Hide. That song is still in my head. And I just can't get over it. Next, we got the Chelsea Cutler. How to be human, limited white cassette. Sorry, I may be like speedy right now because I have to do this quickly because there's a lot and I don't want to waste so much time just talking. So yeah, Chelsea Cutler, definitely a feel song. Only listen to it on like mood days and sad days. Definitely not a vibe song. <sighs> All right, on to some fun ones. Here we got the Britney Spears, baby one more time. And I got all of these at Urban Outfitters. And yeah, I loved every single one of them. Like I said, I had to return the Oops, I Did It Again cassette tape. But like I, like I said, I did like the album for this one. I already showed it in the first video. And I did keep this one. So that's a positive on my end. And I've seen the blackout cassette tape at Urban, but I don't want to get it. Okay, look, I know. Some people are going to say, oh, it's because of the picture, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of obvious. I wouldn't buy it. E I wouldn't buy it because the edit on that picture is horrible. But I bet the album has some like bomb songs that I probably know, but I just like forgot because it was like from a long time ago. But yeah, Britney is just still in at this point. Oh yeah, and there's gonna be like a new Britney Femi Fatal Fatal or something. I'll just put a picture up here to show you. It's that gold modern 2000 like 9, 10 cassette. Uh, sorry, not cassette, music. And I definitely want to get it because that would definitely be my first gold cassette, even if it's fake. <sighs> so, yeah. But I really don't mind. Like, I love Britney. I do. But like I said, for the Oops, I did it again. I just had to return it. It didn't work. And exchange for the Post Malone instead of just getting my money back. Which I thought was a fair trade. All right. <sighs> don't blame me but uh this is the awesome mix for the movie guardians of the galaxy i haven't even seen that movie yet but this movie came out a long time ago and just yeah this was on sale and i said why the heck not 
yeah, there's not much to say about it. <laughs> and that concludes for the modern day music. Uh, that's not further that's not from the ninth that's uh, i gotta calm down <laughs> sorry that's not from the 90s but we're gonna dive right on into the vintage or the old school cassettes which i'm definitely excited to show you and up first for the first ones is the whitney houston the first three albums i actually got these ones brand new unsealed and just decided to yeah use them because i love whitney houston a lot the voice in my hands even if it's on, even if it's on cassette this whitney this album this one is definitely my favorite because it got it's got two of my f favorite songs of all time obviously everyone knows that one and then this power anthem, which is just like, oh god, how did she... Those vocals, man. She got that. She had that. <sighs> I wonder how life would have been if she were still around. <sighs> but in Ultimate Universe, she would still be here. And yeah. It's just Whitney. Do I have anything else to say? than to say that she was the goddess of music and the voice. And also I have the Bodyguard original edition soundtrack on cassette. I actually have the CD for this one too, but I'll show you guys a little later with it. And yeah. All right, so up next, okay, I gotta say these next ones, oh my God. Apart from Ariana being my idol, idol, not idol, what the heck is idol? Apart from Ariana being my idol, my first idol was actually my homegirl, Selena Quintanilla. And I only have two of her album, I only have two of her albums on the cassette form, but fun fact, I actually had the Amor Prohibido, uh, the Selena Live, and something else that I'm forgetting. I'll just show it up in the video. I'll just show it to you guys right over, right over here because I don't even know. I just, yeah. I gotta get it quickly. <laughs> but yeah, I love her albums. And it's just like, oh, she was my first inspiration to like start singing. And it's just like, I don't understand her story, man. She started off from nothing to stardom. And it was just so fast that it was like, oh God, her voice and her charisma was everything. I just don't understand why, why she was taken away so soon. And it sucks because I really wish I met her. Even if I were, even if she were, in her 50s, she would still look dead gorgeous. I wouldn't care. No one would. Everyone would just love her the way she would be if she were still around. But there's nothing to do at this point. She's been gone for a while, a very long time. And yeah, uh, <laughs> that's all I can say. Oh, and these ones are the ones that actually work. I had to return the other three, like I showed me in the pictures, because uh uh, uh I don't take things. I don't sorry, I don't take things. I don't like things that don't work like they're supposed to. <sighs> so yeah, and for the last two that I have at this point are the Slim Dion and the color of my love. Uh -huh. Seen Dion, The Color of My Love, and The Madonna on Breathless. And look, this may have like a 1950s feel vibe of music, which I don't mind. I actually liked it. But let's be honest, y'all. The only song that I would actually replay if I could is Vogue. Because who doesn't like that? And oh. I'm saying it now, 
But this album is my favorite out of her entire discography. I said it. And I mean what I mean. <laughs> but yeah, I actually don't mind that I said that. Because... Look, if I if I bought the cassette first before the CD, I was definitely gonna get it for both of them because it deserves that treatment. But overall, it's not. It's definitely a very underrated album. People just didn't listen to it as much back then, probably. No, no, no sorry. People don't listen to it as much today than they sh did back then. And it's just frustrating because she is she is talented. That voice too. But Whitney overtook the power of vocals. And it's just like we were all in trance with Whitney's vocals. And we didn't give Celine enough credit or that same admiration as we did to Whitney. And it's just like, oh, she deserved a whole lot. And now, I guess finally, let's go dive right on in to the vintage CDs. It's mainly Celine Dion, but there's a few here that I already showed before for the cassettes. Oh, what am I doing? Sorry, I'm just like trying to get my stuff together. So at first, I already showed the cassette for this one, but I got the Selena Dreaming of You CD and the cassette. Not much to say, love it. Had to be her for last album though. Oh. Whitney Houston, The Bodyguard on CD. I Will Always Love You is on here. And yeah, that voice. <laughs> and the same thing for that I'm Your Baby Tonight on CD and the set. Just talent. Priceless. <laughs> I guess. And right here we got... I only have one Disney CD, which is actually surprising. Because I have I have the Disney all Disney songs memorized by heart. But the ones that are, like, um, memorable. But, like, for this soundtrack, it's just, like... It's so iconic that I'm able to remember the instrumentals to the original scene it's just like oh god that's how good it was if you can remember the instrumental of like a scene that was in the lion king that's how well this masterpiece th 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 sorry that's how well a masterpiece is made and it's just like that's how all movies should be made but unfortunately that's not all of them up next and yeah i don't have the cassettes for these but just like my celine dion collection but all the same it's like like i said she's already she's talented she's great she really is underrated which sucks but i can't do anything about it except support because she is talent and yes. And yeah. <laughs> oh god, that was oh, even if I went fast, that took a long time. Alright, so that was actually all for my that was actually my entire update on my CD and cassette collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, <laughs> I guess until the next one, but that's not going to be after a really long time. Oh, and also my Studebaker cassette player, the one that I've shown, I'll show it right here again. That one, oh gosh, rest in peace. It didn't even last long. It didn't even last three months. But it was a pretty cassette player, and it worked wonders when I when it uh, when I used it. But the other the other one that I'm still using is the small one, is the Jensen cassette player. This one is still working perfectly fine, and 
yeah, I definitely recommend if you just want like portable or definitely ready cassette player if you ever get into cassettes. Oh yeah, and I forgot to show y'all. Um, this is definitely not part of the video, but I'll just show you guys anyway, so I don't have to do it for a separate video. So I actually have uh, just four vinyls for my collection at this point, because I'm not trying to collect vinyls right now. Like y'all saw, I'm just trying to collect cassettes at the moment. <laughs> so yeah, this is the Lady Gaga Chromatica vinyl. It's nothing much. I love the album, obviously. I have it on the green cassette and the clear cassette. And yeah. And I have the Katy Perry standard bone white vinyl. It's, like I already said, I already showed this before. Except this one actually includes the Smile. It includes Smile featuring Diddy. So that one's like probably an error way before the album was released and all that stuff. So yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys. Up next, I got the Liam Payne LP1. I showed you guys the cassette also. This one though, this was actually the cheapest vinyl that I have gotten before that I have gotten. And it was on sale. It just said, okay, I'll just get it. It's the Urban Outfitters exclusive clear vinyl. And yeah, <laughs> not much to say about it. Oh, and also I may have already shown you the Selena CD for sale. My vinyls my vinyls, my cassettes, and my CDs collections, they are not for sale. <laughs> Only the ones that are on eBay. I have a few listings and the Selena CD on listing on eBay. I'll definitely leave that in the description below so y'all can just check it out. And if you're interested, hopefully you'll buy and my personal favorite, <laughs> I want to see me, is the Selena Ones vinyl. This is definitely my favorite out of the entire thing. And I just love the picture discs so much. I love the color. I love all the songs. My idol, icon, my inspiration. <sighs> I love her so much. But yeah... That's all I wanted to show you as like an, a little bit of extra. And yeah. Okay, just a quick plug in. This is definitely not related to the video at all. But if y'all want to buy this, check the description below. Yes, I have an eBay account and I definitely don't want to keep this one. <sighs> Because of the condition it is. This would be in my personal collection, but I just don't like the condition. So yeah, check out the description if you want to buy it. It's still up right now. It'll be live up for 27 days, or if this is being seen in the future, it's probably ended by now relisted. So yeah, go check it out. <laughs> okay. This is the last one, I promise. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to tell you guys that I did have two other vinyls, but those ones I actually exchanged for cash because they were defaulty. I'm going to just show you a picture of both of them right here. The first one right here. Edit picture. Input picture. And yeah, that was the one, one that I had, which was the Doja Cat hot pink album i loved it so much but oh god it was warped as heck that was unacceptable to me for the condition i mean <sighs> and I, up next i had the billy eilish the everything i wanted vinyl which is right here yes i have nothing <laughs> it's just a picture but yeah i had those two vinyls before but I can't show them because I already exchanged them for cash a long time ago. And also, it was kind of like a refund because I didn't want the condition they were in. So yeah, just a little quickie of a fact if y'all wanted to know. 
and yeah let's get right into the outro i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll definitely update for a part three if you guys want that i'll actually put a poll up here if you all want part three in the very far future and yeah i guess i'll see you guys next time peace yeah Thank you.